Hi all, this is Alan with Bothell STEM Coach, and today we are going to be continuing on with the 2018 AP Calculus AB free response questions, and we're going to be looking at number 6 here. So consider the differential equation dy over dx equals 1 third x y minus 2 quantities squared. A slope field for the given differential equation is shown below, and sketch the solution the curve that passes through the point 0, 2, right there, and sketch this uh, through here. So 0, 2 is pretty straightforward because the slopes are all horizontal. So if I sketch out the curve, it's just going to stay horizontal. You kind of just create a line that follows the slopes. And then for 1, uh, see how the slope's like this? I kind of follow it like, like I, f I follow the slopes. And it looks like it's going to approach this horizontal line here. This is the equilibrium solution. And then what is it going to do down here? It's going to kind of go like this. Just following the shape of the lines there, okay. So that's kind of how you just read a slope field. You just kind of this. You start at a point and then you just kind of sketch out the rest of the line. Let y equals f of x be the particular solution to the given differential equation with initial equation. So um, write an equation for the line tangent to the graph at x equals one and use your equation to approximate. Okay, so let's let's take a step one at a time. Uh, write an equation for the line tangent to y equals f of x. So I, I need to know the slope. Whenever you need to do tangent line, you need uh, two things. You need a slope and a point that it's going through. So I need to use, to use my slope point form, mx minus x naught. So the point that it's going through at x equals 1, we know that, so we know the x value is 1, so x naught is equal to 1. And we know the y naught is uh, f of x naught, and, we're, and they're already telling us this. So the way you have to interpret this is that it's y minus 0 is equal to m x minus 1. Okay. Now all I need to know is what the, the m is. m is the derivative at dy dx evaluated at the point x equals 1. So in this case uh, our derivative is 1 third x y minus 2 squared. I can plug in x equals 1 but I also know the y value is 0 because um, the point goes through 1, 0. So um, this is 1 third times 1, 0 minus 2 squared. Two, this negative 2 squared is 4, so this is 4 thirds. Okay, so my equation ends up being y equals 4 thirds x minus 1. Okay, now use that equation to approximate f of 0 0.7. f of 0 0.7 is approximately equal to uh, f of 1 minus the slope times f. Yeah, anyway, uh, actually, you just use the equation of the tangent line. We're basically using a linear approximation. So what I would say is f of 0 0.7 is just plugging in 0.7 into here. So it's 4 thirds, 0 0.7 minus 1. What's that? Um, that's, my, that's 4 thirds times minus 0.3. So what is that? That's minus, um, uh, this cancels to be 10. So minus 0.4. Okay. And now f let's find the particular solution to this differential equation. So um, to find the particular solution, I have to rearrange this. So I have dy dx is equal to 1 third x y minus 2 squared. The only technique you know for differential equations at this point is um, separation of variables. So I bring the dx up here and I bring everything with the y down here. So I have dy over y minus 2 squared is equal to 1 third x dx. Then I integrate both sides. The right side's pretty easy. It's 1 third um, x squared over 2 plus c. And this side, if you do the, if you did a u substitution for y minus, this is really uh, y minus two to the negative two. And so when I do sort of the power rule, um, that becomes I add one, so it becomes y minus two to the negative one divided by negative one, or that's one over y minus two. So this side becomes one over y minus two. Okay, is equal to that. Um, so then we need to solve for. Um, Let's, find, let's first plug in and find the constant. You can do that at this point. If I know that f of 1 is 0, then that means I know y is equal to 0 when x is equal to 1. So this becomes negative 1 over 2, or 1 over negative 2. 
is one sixth, um, because uh, one third times one half is six. One squared plus c, and so this is uh, one sixth plus c. So then c would have to equal uh, negative one half minus one sixth, and that's equal to um, what's a three sixth minus four sixth, which is equal to minus two thirds. Yeah, minus two thirds. So I have one over y minus two is equal to one third, uh, oh, sorry, one sixth x squared minus two thirds. So um, I might multiply through by both sides of the equation by six to just get rid of all the fractions. So I have six over y minus two is equal to x squared minus uh, four. And then I can cross multiply, kind of bring the y over 2 up, and then bring this. So it's 6 over x squared minus 4 is equal to y minus 2. Or y is equal to 6 over x squared minus 4 plus 2. All right, let's see how we did compared to the solutions. Um, this looks right. Uh, 4 thirds and minus 0.4. And then 2 minus 6 over x squared plus 2. Ooh. I think I left a negative sign over here. Yeah. This should have been negative. That's why I made a mistake. I made a slight mistake on the sign here. So this should have been positive 1 half. And so positive one half minus one six would have been two sixths. Positive two six. That should have made that. Sorry, I should be doing my corrections in red. That should have made this one third. And if I made that one third, this would have been one third and plus one third. And then it's always good to just you know make sure you. Uh, so this would have been plus two. And so this should have been plus two. I think that's where I made the mistake. Yeah, 2 minus 6 over x squared plus 2. 2 minus 6 over x squared uh, plus 2. Yep. Oh. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, because this should have been minus also. Do, do, do. Yeah, so I made a lot of mistakes here. So this would have been. Uh, negative y plus 2 and so you would have done 2 minus this to make it equal okay so I uh, this 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 error made a mistake this 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 missing minus sign right here was my problem and that affected all of the algebra but everything else was uh, correct so hope you found that helpful I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching the video guys please leave a comment like or subscribe below to catch up more of the content and see any links below I offer free homework help on uh, Twitch and Discord. See you guys in the next video.